Hello everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can take a backup and restore your WordPress website using cPanel. So the first thing you have to do is right now you can see my WordPress website. This is a demo site I have set up to show you this tutorial. So first we have to log into the cPanel and to do so what you have to do is just go to the search bar of your browser or whatever you want to call it. And here, after your domain name, add a colon and then 2083. This is usually the common um, URL to find your cPanel dashboard. So it will prompt you for your username and password. Just enter your cPanel username and password. And to find it, you will have to go through the email sent by your hosting provider. So after this, press login. And if your username and password is correct, it will directly take you to the cPanel page. And most likely you will see an uh, interface like this. But because of any reason, if it is looking different, it, is, it may be because you are using a different tree. So right now you can see I'm using this theme, Paper Lantern. So to change your theme, what you can do is in the search bar here, type uh, search for theme. And you will see this option of change style. And if you are not able to find it, you can scroll down and find this option, change style. Click on it. And from here, you will see all the available different themes. So right now you can see if your hosting provider is using retro theme, you can man change it to this basic theme, which I'm using. So you will be able to follow this tutorial uh, more easily. So let's go back to the home page. And the theme doesn't like change anything. It's just the interface may look slightly different okay so the first thing we will do is uh, take backup of our wordpress website files okay so again i will show you my website right now and this is how it looks so first let's go to the file manager and from here uh, basically if you have only one website then most then your website all your files will be stored in this folder public html but if you have multiple websites let's say i have another website on this hosting server called smarthelpguides.com so um so if it is an add-on uh, web add-on domain uh, there may be a specific folder for that domain so my website main website this best host offers dot club is uh, all its files is stored in the public html folder so i will just open it and here you can see these are all the files of this website so what i will do is um, click on this option select all and then right click here and then click on compress so this will create a zip archive i will use the compression type zip archive so this will compress all the files and create a copy of all the files of this website and here you can see this zip file has been created you can rename it to anything you want for example i will rename it to demo backup okay and then press enter and then uh, we will download it to our computer so then uh, select this file and click on this option download okay so let this download complete and now let's create a backup of the database so let's go back to the cpanel interface and from here scroll down here you will see this option php my admin click on it and it will automatically directly log in you to the php my admin panel okay from here we will take the backup uh, of our database okay so right now you can see i have two website on the server and there are two backups so in case you are confused uh, you do not know or if you get confused uh, which is the right database we should take the backup of uh, to, so to find the correct backup what you have to do is go to the file manager here and from here find the file called wpconfig.php okay select this file and then click on this option edit okay so then again click here edit so right now you uh, just scroll down and here you will see the database username password and host name um, everything all the details database name database user so we can see the database name is uh, wp731 
So we will go back to the phpMyAdmin and here you can see the second database. So the database of the of this website is this WP731. So we will take a backup of this database. Okay, select it. Just click on it to select it. And here go to the export tab. Okay, and from here I'm um, just click on go and so keep the select format SQL so the database is also downloading and it will not take much time to download as it is quite small in size okay so we have downloaded the uh, copy of back files and a copy of our database okay so now just to show you I will delete everything and restore so you will see how it works okay so right now you can see if I refresh the website it is it will still working so now I will delete everything okay and most important thing to delete is the zip file as um, any if anyone is able to get access to it uh, somehow because of any security reason um, it will become a major problem for you as they will have a copy of everything of your WordPress website so I will select all and click on delete okay so everything has been deleted and similarly I will delete everything from the database too okay so for this I will go to structure and select all and from here select drop and then click on yes confirm so everything has been deleted from this database if I again uh, try to show you that if I even try to expand it there is nothing there is no tables in this database left anymore so and uh, now I will refresh this website and you will see that it is not working and I'm getting this error okay so now I will restore these files so the first thing I will do is um, restore the database and from here again select this database and go to the import tab this time and from here select the file I just downloaded so I will try to drag and drop here okay, and then click on go okay if it is not working like this you can select this file from here Okay, and then click on go okay right now just um, ignore this and then just click on back and let's go to the structure and you can see all the tables have been restored okay so now I will restore the files so go to the file manager and go, you will have to go to the same folder where it was located before and from here click on upload so I will just drag and drop it here this time it will work and let the upload process complete so because it is a demo site so it, the site size is quite low so it has been uploaded then click on this option go back okay so here you will see this web, uh, zip file uh, quickly select it and right click it and then click on this option extract okay. and then extract it so now let, everything has been extracted so close it and the first thing you, are, you should do is delete the zip file as it is a major security issue so confirm delete it and everything has been restored okay so now let's check if our website is start working again let's refresh this page and you can see everything is working again so when you will need this uh, need to do this uh, restore manually and taking backup manually in case your hosting provider do not provide the service for free they want to charge you or you do not want to completely rely on your hosting provider as their backup can also fail so you want to have an extra backup or you prefer to do it this way because um, it is really quite easy to create a backup and restore your website so you want to do it occasionally so 
Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful and you are able to take a backup and restore your website manually from cPanel. And if you found it useful, please uh, do like this video and leave a comment. Let me know how I can improve this video. Please share your feedback with me. So that really helps a lot to create better content for everyone. And subscribe to this channel if you are interested in more WordPress related videos. And uh, do check out this playlist. Uh, called things to do after installing your wordpress and if you also want to create a woocommerce website or you know any kind of advanced website you can watch my tutorials about it too i have a lot of tutorials so that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next video